Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Really nice spot indeed. We are in someone's, well, right in the front of their house, aren't we? Look at this. There's the front of their house. There's uh, all sorts of good stuff. We got the street. All this. Look at this. Look at this weird thing right there. I guess it does raise the question, where in the world are we? And I think it's time for me to make a guess as to where I think this is. Um, well, we're in front of a home, and I believe it's in America, based on, you know, the design of the home and, uh, what kind of stuff we see here. We're gonna go with, uh, we're one in the southern states, we're gonna go with one of the watery states, and why don't we go with, um, uh, Louisiana or Florida? Let's go Florida, but let's go to this part right over here. Is this called the Panhandle? Uh, I don't know about that, but here you go. We're going to say that's the part we're in, and no. But I got the state right, so that should count as something. We were just north of, well, not just north. We were north of West Palm Beach, north of Jupiter. That's a place I've heard of before. Uh, Port St. Lucie, uh, right over here. There you go. Beautiful. Hopefully some of you guys were able to figure that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. A very nice spot. We are on a river that apparently is far too low uh, because look at this rocky bottom. I'm assuming the water is supposed to go here, uh, but apparently it has all gone into, well, this section over here of the river. Uh, seems strange to me, but there you go. You know, lo you, lo low water levels. It is, uh, you know, the, uh, I guess... Scientists are all saying about the water levels rising. My god, here they're lowering. Take that, scientists. Oh, I always knew that, uh, you know, those uh, leftists that run the government were lying to us about global warming. Here's the proof right here. These water levels are low, so what I say, build near the coast. It's a big scam for the... Uh, liberal media to try and buy out all the expensive property in the world by getting us uh, smart people to move into uh, away from the coast. Huh. There you go. Caught them in their own lies. Anyways, that was a weird train of thought, wasn't it? <laughs> Jeez. So here we are in today's daily challenge, which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is. And in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won. So if you are interested in becoming the day's top geoguesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video. And today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than someone from Geelong. So thank you so much for this one. This one is a challenge with no theme. That is right, no theme. Uh, but there is in the first location maybe a little bit of an interesting sign right off the bat. So I'm excited to see that. So thank you so much, someone from Geelong, for this one. Of course, Geelong, I, I know where that is, right? That's right over here. There you go. You see, I remember where that is from yesterday's video. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for this challenge. If you are interested in uh, creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the description below, find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. So let's get that going right there. Boom, and... There you go. So what's a bit of an interesting sign? Ah, there you go. Fire danger rating today. Yeah, it's not too high. We're not at a code red. Well, there you go. Is that the interesting sign? It is a bit interesting, uh, I guess, in the sense that it lights up. Now, I've seen plenty of these signs before, but usually it's like an arrow. But I guess this is cool because you, you can just, like, uh, send it, send the information there. I don't know. I, you, you, there's probably... A lot of those. I don't know if I've ever seen an, uh, an electronic one, but uh, there we are. Now, the great thing is, this is, of course, it makes it even more interesting. We're, we're 69 kilometers from Melbourne. So, uh, there you go. Oh, Geelong Ring Road. Oh, geez. Well, you know, we know where we are. There you go. It was uh, it was bound to happen. Geelong Ring Road? Where's the ring road here? You tell me. Is this, is this considered a ring road? Because it doesn't go around in a ring? Eh, maybe it is. I have no idea. Well, clearly, this is where we are. Uh, but let's go find an exit. I, I bet you we're, like, right around here. But let's go find an exit. Well, maybe, hold on. Maybe this is the interesting sign. Although, I will say that that fire sign was pretty cool. Um, there you go. Ballart Geelong West A300. Okay. So let's find the exit. 
The exit, of course, is A300. Oh, I should probably... Oh, there you go. So we're right there. Somewhere like... Uh, somewhere like right around here in WH Myers Reserve. Sweet. Well, we found it. Make the guess and the answer was... Oh, 6469. A great number of points. Okay. So, now we are in what appears to be America or an America-like location. Which America-like location will it be? I mean, it might just be, you know, uh, the standard America, but it, of course it could be something along the lines of, uh, I guess, like Guam, or uh, we could be in Hawaii, or we could be in, I don't know. But this may, I, I don't know, southernmost hotel. Or it could be in the Florida Keys, actually, which I'm guessing is where we are. That seems that seems to make sense for me, uh, to me. Blue Marlin, okay, yeah, Florida Marlins. That is, of course, a baseball team. I believe so, right? I think so. I don't know if I'm being honest with you. The Miami Dolphins are a football team. Of course, I know that from... Ace Ventura Pet Detective, where, uh, like, Dan Marino gets kidnapped or something like that. Also a dolphin. Something like that. Anyways, uh, yeah. Where are, where, where you are in Florida? Okay, we saw it on the license plates. Southernmost, so that makes a lot of sense. So Key West is where we are. Um, southernmost, well, we're around over here. Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum. So we are like right around this area. Wow, Key West. Really nice location. Shall we uh, go check out some other stuff? Honestly, it, it kind of looks like Key West from the video game The Crew, which was an okay game. It wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it was, it, it sort of became really repetitive. And once you unlocked all the locations and upgraded a car to the full, it, it just became. Like, what is there really to do now? It was a game quick to not have that much to do, and although the upgrade system was cool, it meant that, like, I, there wasn't that much car customization available. I don't, there was a lot of car upgrades available, but the car up... I don't know. I like driving games, but I think the crew was all right, but it, it definitely had its uh, its issues. And the story was boring as all hell. Uh, un, uninteresting completely. So, all right, Key West. Make the guess, and the answer was, boom, 64-69. Oh, my favorite amount of points. There you go. Taking a selfie. There you go. That's an uncensored face right there. There you go. The uh, the software didn't really figure that one out. So what do we, what do we, oh, I see. So I'm guessing, like, is this the, is this like the truck driver that did this? So this is, this is the truck driver. It's taking a selfie of his truck that he's parked across the whole road oh jeez oh boy look at this so out in the middle of nowhere i mean look at this this is like first of all why isn't he closer to his truck look how small it looks in the picture here you can barely i mean it's in the background i guess it's a nice shot but still jeez oh, also his face is just right over here in the corner my God, what a what a what a weird picture this is! I really like this location. It's hilarious. All right, so um, clearly we're gonna be in. Well, this is a European truck. You can tell because it's got a flat front, and we're out in like an area that looks like uh, that looks like Mars. Uh, so what does that mean? It's incredibly flat and not mountainous. So I'm going to say this is not like this area over here. Maybe up here. Maybe, uh, God, I don't know. Like around, a, is it really? I don't think it's like that in Murmansk. Is it? I forget. It. Yeah, I think it could be up here. Like maybe around this area over here. Sure, right there. And the answer was no, in Kazakhstan. Okay, I guess too far north. There are no trees. It was a desert, a snowy desert in Kazakhstan. Jeez, 1797. All right, what do we have here? We've got um, Taiwan. 
Is that the answer? I'm not sure. Let's go uh, take a look at what we can see. Well, we are driving on the right, which indicates to me that we are... That looks like Taiwan to me. That we are not in Japan, but we could have figured that one out quite easily. And, well, just by seeing more writing, really. Look at that. That that tells me, that says Taiwan to me. Other than that, I have no idea where we could be. It's the only real thing that's coming to mind. Gangfang Fishing Port. Okay, so let's go try to find that. Gangfang. Uh, where's the water? The water is to the east. Okay, so there's a place. There's some just some wild countryside, and there's that. Well, that doesn't really help us too much. So we can see. Can we find that? That uh, no, not really. And it's sort of south as well. So maybe around over here. I don't see anything of the sort. But I think we're clearly around here somewhere. All right, what's the name? What's the name of this road? It doesn't say anything. Hopefully, we'll find a sign. Oh, there's a 7-Eleven here that tells us how far we are away from things. Well, first of all, I gotta look at a little bit more writing here, just in case. I'm not making a crucial mistake. Like that time, I, for whatever reason, didn't recognize Korean, which is very easy to recognize. But that's clearly not Korean. No, definitely not. I think we are in Taiwan. Other than that, yep, yeah, we're definitely in Taiwan. I, I believe so. So, with that being said, where, what road is this? Does it, doesn't really say. Well, I think, I think we know pretty much what kind of area it is. So let's, let's go and let's say we're around, maybe around here. Sort of like somewhere like, uh, like, like here. Or something or like right around here yes and the answer was oh much further north than I thought oh that's really too bad well there you go 3285 but hey you know what close enough next Ooh. oh oh this is cool yes we have uh, definitely seen this picture before the real question is do I remember where it is and I don't really remember where where it is uh, but look at this. I mean, this is one really one of the great shots in uh, the game. We've got a, a big old bear right over here, you know, eating some salmon. We've got a little old bear walking over here. We've got two people. They don't seem to really care. I mean, hopefully they're keeping their eye out on this bear here. Uh, but uh, there you go. And look, there's even another bear all the way down there. Oh, it's beautiful. And this, I'm guessing this is like a drone or something that's flying over there. And, and this bear is like, what in the hell? is going on right here. I didn't even really consider that last time. There's obviously something flying up here, taking the picture. I mean, this wasn't taken by magic, and there's no one standing here. So these guys are just assholes, flying a drone right over this bear's face. It's thinking, like, what in the hell is going on? This thing's running away. Uh, this thing is, uh, who the hell knows where that, where this other bear is going. Beautiful. I guess the real question is, where are we? And I think last time I thought, these are Russian bears. These are not... Uh, these are not Alaskan bears, or, you know, Canadian bears, so we're gonna click right there, make the guess, and the answer was, oh, jeez, all the way here, well, there you go, 1722, but they were indeed Russian bears, so, there you go, 197, uh, 19742, not great, but we did figure out, well, we figured out two of the locations, got one pretty close, and then, to uh, not so great. Uh, we started off in Geelong, then we went off to Key West, we went to Taiwan, then oh, actually the after b between that we went to uh, someone taking a selfie on a road in Kazakhstan, and then the bears of the this peninsula, whatever that's called, comes to seventeen uh, nine oh, sorry nineteen thousand seven hundred and forty two. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. 
thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.